Right now on 10 News this morning, Gavin Newsom is on his way to San Diego, his health care tour, supporting reproductive health services amid national backlash over new abortion laws. More than two dozen tornadoes spotted all across the Midwest. Check out this dramatic footage and the ongoing threat of severe weather this weekend. Changing the lives of families who have children with Down syndrome. We are live at the donut run. That is my kind of run. Put a donut out in front and I'll go anywhere. Hundreds are expected for a great fundraiser today. 10 News This Morning starts right now. Live from the Scripps Studios, this is 10 News. Looking at those donuts, the glazed ones typically are my favorite. No donuts here in the studio yet. We often do see them on weekend mornings. Yes. But I'll go without. We'll talk about the donut run coming up May 19th, May 18th, excuse me. It is 6 o'clock. I'm Mary McKenzie. And I'm Melissa Masiha. A good day for a donut run or any run that you want to have this morning. The only day this weekend, right? Yeah, tomorrow is going to be different. Yeah, okay. tomorrow we're going to experience some wet weather. But for now, Ooh. we need to see things like this. This is uh, downtown, 6 o'clock on the dot. Good Saturday morning. It's 57 degrees in downtown. The winds are calm. We do start to see the sunrise already. The sunset tonight at 743. So as far as our visibility map, it was clear. Now we're starting to see some patchy fog develop in Ramona. So Ramona visibility, uh, you could run into some of that patchy fog if you're going to be driving around town. Along the coast, though, not seeing any issues. Upper 60s by later on this afternoon. We should see more sunshine by later on today. The clouds are expected, though, to roll back in by late this afternoon into the evening. Inland Valley low 70s and yes we are talking about those showers expected late tonight we'll pinpoint that in your seven day mary mel thank you nine people taken to the hospital including six children after this wrong way crash involving three cars in el cajon officers say they're investigating this as a possible dui it happened last night on pepper drive neighbors say when they came outside to help they noticed a beer bottle in one of the cars and i did find um, beer bottle, open beer bottle, still foamy in the driver's seat. According to the CHP, the driver of the Scion was going the wrong way. The driver of the blue truck tried to dodge it but was clipped, sending the Scion spinning before being hit by the minivan. Inside that van were two adults and six kids, all of them taken to the hospital. Thankfully, CHP officers think their injuries were just minor. The driver of the Scion went to the hospital with major injuries. Missouri now on the growing list of states passing abortion restrictions. It bans abortions after eight weeks of pregnancy or after a heartbeat is detected in the fetus. It allows no exceptions in cases of rape or incest. That state's bill passed both the state House and Senate. And even within the Republican Party, there are differing opinions. We stand without apology for the sanctity of human life. Personally, I would have the exceptions. That's my personal belief. Alabama has passed the most stringent abortion law so far. Because of that, some state officials in Colorado and Maryland say their staff should not spend any state resources there. Happening today, Governor Gavin Newsom's bringing his health care tour to San Diego. The governor spent the week traveling the state, touting his plan, which includes a mandate to buy insurance. He's also affirming his support for reproductive health services. Today's rally will be at 930 this morning at the United Food and Commercial Workers Union Building in Mission Valley. Valley. Overcrowding at the border has brought hundreds of migrants from immigration centers in Texas to here in San Diego. Sky 10 was overhead as the first round landed in San Diego yesterday. Customs and Border Protection says there will be three flights a week, each containing up to 135 people. The agency says this has nothing to do with sanctuary cities. Instead, it says they are selecting cities like San Diego, which they say can handle a large volume of migrants. Each government-sponsored flight costs about $16,000, according to numbers obtained by the Washington Post. Probably start seeing them getting discharged on Monday and Tuesday. Friday's first group was taken to Otay Mesa, where Border Patrol says they'll be processed, fingerprinted, and photographed. Their country of origin will also be recorded by U.S. officials. The FBI and DEA busted another hash oil lab, this time in Point Loma. It's the fifth hash oil bust in San Diego County just within the last month. According to the Department of Justice, the raid was on Riviera. Court agents found what they called a small hash oil operation. They, along with several butane containers and some finished hash oil product, one person went to jail. 
Severe weather in parts of our country. It's shaping up to be an active few days stretch of stormy weather. This is in Kansas where a tornado touched down in the southern part of Ford County. A tornado warning remains in effect for several counties in Kansas as threats of hail and heavy rain continue. And that's not all. That's not the only tornado. According to the National Weather Service, 28 tornadoes were spotted in Kansas, wow. Nebraska and Texas. Luckily, no major damage has been reported from these storms. Another round of storms expected to move across northwestern Oklahoma this afternoon. Incredible video there. The weather here in San Diego continues to be wet. Southern California has been hit by one of the wettest winters in years. The rain set four records in San Diego County this week, including one at Oceanside Harbor, which got 0.13 inches of precipitation on Thursday, matching the record set back in 1915. But Palomar Mountain, Vista and Ramona all set records on Thursday as well. Happening today, it's a 2019 Angelman Syndrome Foundation Walk. The walk is meant to support the foundation in its search to find a cure. It's a complex genetic disorder that primarily affects the nervous system. This is part of the ASF National Walk, which takes place today in 44 locations throughout the country. The walk starts at 10 o'clock this morning at Ocean Air Park. That's near the Torrey Pines Reserve. And what better way to start your Saturday morning than donuts at the beach? That sounds absolutely perfect. Hundreds of people will be enjoying all those pastries at Crown Point. That's where the Donut Run 5K is kicking off this morning. And that's where we find 10 News reporter Nate Holmes still without a donut, Nate. <laughs> <laughs> Still without a donut, but I'm told they're being made and they'll be on their way very, very shortly. But as you can see, organizers are out here setting up, getting ready for the big event this morning. And joining me is Stephanie Ortiz. She's with Gigi's Playhouse. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Thank you for being here. Absolutely. Now, the big question is of the day is the donuts, of I know. course. Yes. So. Uh, so tell us exactly how many donuts are being made specifically for this event and where are they coming from? So we actually have 600 donuts. Uh, they're currently still being made, so they're freshly made. They're coming in from Copper Top and then the donut bar as well. So we have two big favorites from, from San Diego. Awesome. I yeah. can't wait to get my hands on I those. Know. Just a little bit more and <laughs> they'll be here. All right. So tell us, there's this event is fun for everyone. Tell us what people can expect coming out here this morning. So our biggest hit, of course, is a kid's stash that starts at 9. We have all the little kids. They have their own little race and they actually get their own medals at the end. So it's just it's amazing to see you have uh, kids from 14 all the way to two year old just running to the finish line. It's amazing. And then, of course, we have the 5K and the one mile run after that. Awesome. And then the big treat donuts at the end. Yes, definitely. We will have plenty of donuts. You probably you can probably get two if you get lucky. But um, yeah, we're going to have face painting. We're going to have Sean from Born This Way will actually be here. He's going to be selling and signing some shirts. So we're very excited about that. Um, we're going to have some vendors. We're going to have music, games. It's going to be a really fun event. Awesome. Great for everyone. And tell us if folks are haven't registered already, there's still time to come out now. Yes, we definitely expanded our registration. We're open all the way up till 9 a.m. So please come out, support us. It's going to be an amazing time. You will not forget this event and you will love to come back next year. Definitely a sweet event for everyone. They will actually be located right here in Crown Point by the uh, playground, as you can see behind me. So very, very easy to find if you may decide to make your way out here this morning. Live in Crown Point, Nate Holmes, 10 News. Now, San Diego's most accurate forecast. This is 10 News Pinpoint Weather. And I know we talk a lot about the donuts, but of course it benefits a, a great cause. Fantastic cause. Yeah, and you combine, you combine the two. Perfect. Great Absolutely group of perfect. people too. Hopefully we'll get to tell you a donut out here soon. <laughs> and no rain this morning. Best part. So that's the good part here too. 608 right now on this Saturday. This is a look Ooh. at Pacific Beach. Yeah, still not seeing too many people out there. And the camera just looks yet. clean. The camera looks clean. Yeah, it looks different when it's black and white, but once it turns yeah. into color, 
Then we get beautiful shots like this. A pretty lonely shot here of Pacific Beach. Today is going to be on the mild side. Right now it's still pretty cool if you are heading to the coast. We're in the mid 50s. Carlsbad, La Jolla, 50 degrees in Kearney Mesa. Still down into the 40s in Ramona, 30s up in the mountains. Fallbrook, you're seeing 50 degrees right now over in the South Bay, Chula Vista at 50 degrees. So the weather pattern is going to change as we start to see the first storm move our its way into San Diego. That's going to bring some rain, some light showers into our overnight hours. Our future cast showing that we're going to start to see those clouds roll back in late this afternoon and then overnight while many of you are sleeping, but while many of us here at work are awake, we'll start to see those showers here push into parts of the East County, parts of the 15 and then more widespread as we get into the morning hours while our shows, while our newscasts are on tomorrow morning. So we're seeing lots of the green, also the yellow and the oranges. So a little bit more of those moderate cells also making its way through by closer to the lunch hour. You'll see most of it pushing on into the mountains, parts of the East County there. Forecast highs for today. We're seeing the 60s along the coast, low 70s, mostly in our inland valleys and in our seven day forecast. So we can't rule out that chance of showers here over the next several days, although Sunday will be the most widespread at this point. Another chance of showers Monday and then continuing on into Tuesday and Wednesday. At this point, Thursday is expected to be dry with partly cloudy skies, cool up in the mountains and then drops even more by Sunday. The deserts in the 80s today, 70s by Sunday. Yeah, some more big changes. Okay. Lots of changes. Thank you, Mel. Rough first day at work for an officer in Texas. Video captures the officer being disarmed by a robber. Again, this is her first oh, day on the job, horrible. folks. So scary. So the guys you can count on for the rest of your life. Like, I mean it when I say it, that they're my brothers. Marines working together to complete an exhausting 30-mile obstacle course. How one platoon took on an even extra challenge. We're going to sell your home, the app that's getting people cash offers with just a few taps on the screen. 611 if you're watching the clock this morning. Get breaking news as it happens anytime. Follow us on Twitter at 10 News.